Hello everyone. In today's video, we'll check out the budget backpacking tents in the market. The budget backpacking tents I listed here are recommended by the reviewers and have lots of positive feedback from the actual users, so if you're looking for the best one for you that is worth your money then keep watching this video I guarantee you'll find the best and suitable one for you from this list. One more thing please don't forget to subscribe to our channel and check the links in the description. Okay, let's start with the video. At the first position of our list, we have Coleman Sundome 4. As a kid we had all sorts of Coleman camping gear, including a four-person tent. It was the right amount of space for the family to hang out in, and came with the reliability of the Coleman brand. Coleman is a classic name in the outdoor industry, and their Sundome is tried and true. Large windows make this a great tent for those warmer summer trips when you want a little breeze. A center height of 4 FT 11 inches means you'll have lots of space to move around, change clothes, or hang out. Best of all this tent is only $99. Moving on to the next at number 2 with Nightcat 1 or 2 person backpacking tent. The Nightcat is a single layer backpacking tent that is suitable for 1 or 2 people. Having just under 30 square feet of sleeping space, the Nightcat is very compact, even when folded down into its carrying case. The Nightcat only takes up a small amount of space and can be carried either in a bag internally or externally using the carry strap. The Nightcat weighs just 4.4 obs making it one of the heavier ones on this list but you do have to take into account just how inexpensive it is when compared to some of the more premium options on the list. The Nightcat is both waterproof and rainproof and only takes about a minute to assemble with one person so it works great as an ad hoc abode. The Nightcat is available for just $49.99. The number 3 position is held by Klosnitcher One Person Backpacking Tent. This tent takes on a more traditional design with crossing aluminum tent poles and a single tent door. Although this tent appears to be light on features, the Rainfly also includes a small vestibule area for your boots slash backpack so it doesn't take up any space in your sleeping area. This could be a pro or a con depending on what the weather is like but the option is there if you want it. As opposed to the above tent, the Klosnitcher is made from 210 polyester with a PU 5000 coating, and this means that it's far more waterproof and firm than the lighter coating and material. This thing is durable and will probably last a lifetime. The Klosnitcher One Person Tent is just $81.99 and weighs just 3.7 oz. Next at number 4 we have Alps Mountaineering Lynx One Tent. As we come to the end of this list, we come to the most expensive of the bunch but still budget-friendly. The Lynx comes from Alps Mountaineering which is an extremely reputable company when it comes to hiking, camping and backpacking gear. The tent features large hash 8 size zippers for easy in and out access and uses a freestanding two-pole cross beam design for simple setup. The included weather fly acts as both a rain guard and vestibule for stowage of boots and other backpacking gear that doesn't need to go inside the tent with you. The Lynx One comes with everything you'll need to set the tent up and has a total floor area of 20 square feet perfect for just one person. The vestibule has an additional 10 square feet outside the walls of the tent for your gear. Internal pockets built into the wall of the Lynx One provide extra storage for your phone, gloves, or flashlight for those middle-of-the-night bathroom breaks. The Lynx One is available for $119.95 but is currently on sale right now for just much less. The number 5 position is held by Mountain Smith Morrison 2 person tent. The Mountain Smith Morrison 2 has a similar design to the Ray Passage 2 but it can often be found at a lower price. Like the Passage, this tent doesn't have a top bar to make the walls vertical, which slightly reduces interior livability. That said, the Morrison does have roomy dimensions, which helps it deliver more interior space. We prefer the nylon tent body of the Passage 2 over the polyester of the Morrison, and the Passage also has larger vestibules. But both tents are solid budget buys. Pick up the Morrison 2 footprint if you want to increase tent floor durability. This tent is also available in a three-person model. The number 6 position is dominated by Alps Mountaineering Lynx 2. The Alps Mountaineering Lynx 2 is another budget tent with a simple, classic design. The Lynx can often be found at even lower prices than the Passage 2 and Morrison 2, but it's also on the heavy. That extra weight and bulk does come with the benefit of increased interior space. But again there's no top crossbar in this tent for vertical sidewalls. Alps also makes the Chaos 2, which does have a top crossbar for more headroom, but the Chaos is more expensive heavier, and has a shorter length, height, and width than the Lynx. Pick up the Lynx 2 footprint if you want to increase tent floor durability. This tent is also available in 1-person, 3-person, and 4-person models. 
Moving on to the next at number 7 with Kelty Dirt Motel 2. The Kelty Dirt Motel 2 is a budget tent with good headroom and a cool stargazing rainfly feature. The Dirt Motel is also much lower in weight than many budget backpacking tents, though it's still not as light as our favorite lightweight tents. We like how the rainfly on the Dirt Motel can be rolled up in clear skies and quickly lowered if the weather changes. The main downside with Dirt Motel is that it's shorter than most tents, so it's not a good fit for tall hikers. Kelty also makes the popular Salada and Grand Mesa series, both of which are lighter, longer, and more affordable than the Dirt Motel, but their single door, small vestibule designs cut down on livability. Pick up the footprint if you want to increase tent floor durability. This tent is also available in three-person and four-person models. The number 8 position is held by the North Face Stormbreak 2. The North Face Stormbreak 2 is a durable budget option with two top crossbars that help increase headroom and livability. The Stormbreak also has two large vestibules that come in handy for external gear storage. The main downside with the Stormbreak is its weight and bulk, which limit its functionality as a backpacking tent. It also doesn't have many added comforts, like interior pockets. Still, as a sturdy and durable budget option with plenty of interior space, the Stormbreak is a solid buy. Pick up the Stormbreak 2 footprint if you want to increase tent floor durability. This tent also comes in one-person and three-person models. Next at number 9 we have Eureka Solitaire Al Tent. The Eureka Solitaire is a surprisingly comfortable and lightweight bivy style tent. Weighing 2 pounds 10 oz, it is a double wall tent, so the rain fly can be rolled back or removed in dry weather while the inner tent provides insect protection and views for stargazing. There are two doors, including one in the front and one on top. The tent is also quite long and wide making it great for people who want a little more room to spread out or store gear inside. Finally, the number 10 position is dominated by Lanshan 2 Tent. The Lanshan 2 Tent is a two-person trekking pole tent that's lightweight, expensive, and reasonably well-made. It has a mesh inner tent with a bathtub floor and an external rain fly, with two separate doors and spacious vestibules. The tent is factory seam taped, although you'll want to do some touch-ups with seam sealer if you plan on camping in rain. Weighing 2 pounds 7 oz, the Lanshan 2 is made with sill slash poo coated ripstop now, while this tent is sold by many offshore resellers. We recommend you purchase it on Amazon, where there's purchaser protection in terms of shipping delays and manufacturer warranties. That's all for today. We upload outdoor product review videos in every single day. So, don't forget to subscribe and hit the bell button for the upcoming video notification.